Final example here, find domain of the function f of x equals 1 over x. And we haven't learned how to graph this type of function either. It's called a rational function. If you're interested, it looks like that. Or actually, it looks like that. Did it upside down. You don't have to know how to graph it to be able to do it. But just know that that's the, the, the range is not something we'll have to find because you don't know how to graph that yet. We haven't learned how to do that yet. Right. What I see, though, is something divided by something. So there's an x in the denominator. That's the key to this problem that makes it this type of function. This is called a rational function. Basically, any fraction that has a variable in the denominator is a rational function. And the rule of rational functions is simple. Whatever's on the bottom, in this case x, is not allowed to equal 0. That's the rule. That's the restriction. When I say x is not allowed to equal 0, that just means x can't equal 0. It can equal anything else. Pick a number, Parker. 4. It can equal 4 because that's not 0, right? See how it works? Any number that isn't four isn't 0 is allowed. So if, if I say pick a number, writer, and writer says 0, that's not allowed. Writer, try again. He'll say 1 half, and then everything's great. You are going to say a half, weren't you? Yeah, I was. Excellent. It's like I read your mind. I was actually going to say 0.5. 0.5. Well, it's 0.5 half. It's, Splitting hairs there. But anyway, so x is not allowed to equal 0. So when I set a domain like that, domain equals the set of all x such that x does not equal 0. All that's saying is any number but 0 is allowed. All right? And that's it. One thing I've noticed people fall in the trap with these problems is they think 0 is always the number. But suppose it was 1 over x minus 2. If I pick 0 now, that's negative a half. That's allowed, right? But x does not equal 2 for that one. So again, if, if your function's just 1 over x, then by, by all means can't be 0. But 1 over x minus 2, now x can't equal 2. Anything else is fine, because x equals 2, 2 minus 2 is 0, now we're dividing by 0 all of a sudden. So it's not always 0, it just starts off that way. x minus 2 does not equal 0, that means x does not equal 2. There's the rule, there's the solution. All right, so be careful of that. And again, those are the types of functions we're going to deal with. Polynomial, all real numbers, radicals, square roots, inside, greater than or equal to zero, rational, bottom, not equal to zero. Follow the rules, create the correct answers, and you'll be in good shape.